Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special primetime Pride edition of the Nicholas Snow Show. I want to introduce my interpreter, Tom. My show is generally uh, subtitled after the fact on the rebroadcast. Just want you to know that. But we're going out of our way to offer the sign language for key episodes of my primetime Pride series. So uh, when he gets out of the bathtub, Craig Ramsey will be joining us. He's a fitness expert, and he's going to be particularly talking about the front runners, Palm Springs front runners and walkers, Pride 5K walk and run, which is something that you can experience virtually around the world and here in Palm Springs. It's one of the participate on your own events that happens during the Pride celebration. And uh, we're going to learn about all of that with Craig coming up. Craig is an expert uh, when it comes to fitness, and I look forward to having him on the show. Um, But there's so much more that's happening with Palm Springs Pride. And I wanted you to know that basically all of the events are available at the website promohomo.tv. So every single uh, every single event is uh, listed at promohomo.tv. There's Craig in, in his gorgeous bubble bath. Of course, Palm Springs Pride, we're talking about being safer together, greater together. Exist, persist, and resist is the theme. There's information about Craig, which I'm going to let you know in person. Um, Then I have three different video platforms that you can subscribe to to participate uh, in the live rebroadcast of three years of Pride Parades, which is something that Promo Homo TV is doing. And I want to give a shout out to Nissan for supporting this particular episode of Primetime Pride. We love them. There's the fabulous uh, Ron DeHart, who is the executive director of Palm Springs Pride. And there's so much more available on the website. So just so grateful uh, that you've tuned in and now you know where to go to for all the information that you're going to want and need to participate. Um, uh, Hopefully you're going to be inspired to participate in the run as well. And you can, you can register there at that website that you're seeing now. So uh, before I bring our guest of honor on, I just want to give a shout out to uh, those individuals that have come on board and supported my show as patrons. Because now Promo Homo TV has a Patreon account. And uh, anybody can subscribe to the show for as little as $3 a month, and every little bit helps. And throughout the show, you're going to see that website above my head that lets you know how you can participate. This is a live show. I see that we have comments. If you have questions or you comment during the broadcast, I can feature those questions and comments on screen. And I'll be back with Craig Ramsey after this. You're with me, it's all right. Together, all our lives, a new star is inside. We're falling, it feels right. It's okay to hold me.
So I believe Craig is probably done with his bubble bath. Let's take a peek. I think he's waiting for us in his dressing room. Craig, there you are. Welcome to the show. Oh, Dad, I had done it from the issue with Bobby. <laughs> uh, fantastic. You know, we have an audio issue with you. Try to say something again. Oh, no. Me um, we're, we're having an odd audio issue, so okay. um, I'll t tell you what. Now, now you, I did hear you before. Um, uh, you're you're now muted, so uh, I'm gonna unmute you. Oh, you have to unmute yourself. Is that okay? The All right, that's better. Nice. Okay. Woohoo! Yeah, we were you were you were actually sounding like a robot uh, at the top of the show. It must have been something with the frequency of your AirPods. But I'm glad that you're not a robot. Well, I've danced as a robot, but I, I've never sounded like one. So I can put that on my resume now. I guess you you can. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to congratulate you because you have become a U.S. citizen and you recently voted for the first time. Yes, yeah, big deal. And I put that into motion, and thanks for bringing that up, Nicholas. I, I put that into motion uh, just under two years ago, just suspecting and researching and, and getting a, a really good grasp of what was going on in this political climate. And just to protect myself, my husband, and my, fam my family and friends, um, I, I've been here for 20 years, so I've always had a say, and I felt like I had a say, but now I have a vote, which really speaks volume and is necessary in these uh, tough times, for sure. They are tough times, and uh, we're getting through them together. And mm -hmm. you have been a, a cheerleader for the uh, Palm Springs Pride Virtual 5K Run and Walk, which I'm excited about. Before I have you talk a little bit more about that, I just want to let our viewers know that Palm Springs Pride is definitely still happening as a reimagined, safe, socially distanced Pride Week celebration. Most of the activities are November 6th through 8th. Um, and if you want to participate in the virtual 5K run and walk, you're going to go to palmspringspriderun.com to register. And uh, one of the things that we're encouraging you to do if you're participating locally, if you're 21 and older, you can order a party pack, which is alcohol based and pick it up curbside on particular dates at Trio Restaurant Palm Springs. Or you can order, regardless of your age, from any of the restaurants in the Pride Food Court. And uh, we want to support the restaurants that support Pride. And the party packs in general are a fundraiser for those of you who are 21 and older. So we definitely want to alert you to that. So... Uh, Craig, you have been working with uh, people in social media to help prep them for the run. Tell me how that's been going and what you've been doing. Yeah, really excitingly, uh, for starters, my husband Brandon and I, uh, we've loved Palm Springs for the last 10 years and it's been our safe haven and we've really gotten to know the community so well. So well, in fact, that we uh, decided to move here and become permanent residents as of January, right before the pandemic hit which as you can imagine was such a good decision uh, with everything that's going on in the world. And uh, with that in mind, uh, we, my, first, my first day here, I joined the Palm Springs Front Runners and Walkers organization, who I was first introduced to a few years back when Brandon and I were the Celebrity Grand Marshals for the Palm Springs Pride Festival. And I did their 5K race that year, loved it, brought in a, a whole group of, of people from Los Angeles. And, um, and then when I 
came here, I joined the group. And then when they asked me if I would speak on behalf of the, the virtual, very different this year, but really special 5K that's happening during the Pride weekend, November 6th to 8th, I jumped on the opportunity. Um, for starters, I really truly believe that a lot of Palm Springs residents don't truly understand the impact that Palm Springs has on the world. This is the most inclusive and diverse group of, of community and city uh, residents uh, out there. And it, it's really looked and inspired on uh, from the world. And it, the beauty of Palm Springs and just the acceptance. And as we know, Palm Springs Pride is the only last free uh, admission Palm, uh, Pride Festival in the whole world. And it's one of the most visited uh, from uh, all over the world. People love being here. Of course they do. They do love being here. Um, I actually want to, on behalf of, uh, for you and the viewers, I want to go through the, uh, all the events for people that may want to know uh, about what's happening. So, um, because lots of people will watch this broadcast and you've been so kind as allow me to a simulcast to your Facebook page as well. So um, these are the Pride events in order. Uh, the uh, election day is being uh, uh, her heralded as the rally against racism. Oops, I'm showing the wrong video. Just a second. I mean, I was moving the wrong screen. So election day is considered the rally against racism. And basically, that's a call for everyone to go vote if you haven't voted already. It's, it's an individual activity, the rally against racism. Uh, there's going to be a flag raising ceremony that will be simulcast on uh, my Facebook page, the Palm Springs Pride Facebook page, my YouTube channel, and also promohomo.tv. And uh, we'll be broadcasting that. Uh, there's a wonderful interfaith service. You want to go to promohomo.tv to find this listing because I'm not broadcasting it. They're broadcasting it from a special Facebook page. But once again, that's accessible worldwide. Light Up the Night is happening November 6th and 7th. It's a virtual valley-wide event. And you are encouraged uh, here in the Coachella Valley to put a rainbow and pink lights in your windows in support of pride, but also to acknowledge those of us uh, who have been impacted by COVID and especially those who have died of COVID and who are on the front lines. So that's what Light Up the Night is about. Uh, on top of that, there's two pride drive-in nights at the movies on Friday the uh, 6th and Saturday the 7th. And all of that information is available at the website. And uh, the the 5k run and walk which is the virtual event and the beauty is that you get to sign up whenever you uh, and participate wherever you want all over the world and it benefits the lgbtq community center of the desert a very worthy organization we're going to have three pride parades instead of one but none of them are in person Promo Homo TV will be rebroadcasting in their ent entirety the 2017, 2018, and 2019 Palm Springs Pride Parades on all the platforms that I just mentioned. On Sunday of Pride, November 8th in the afternoon, there's a virtual tea dance with DJ Galaxy that's accessible worldwide via Twitch. I've talked about the Pride Party Packs to go, and you definitely want to patronize the Party Packs if you can, uh, because that's a fundraiser. All that information is on the website. And uh, put Pride in your windows November 2nd through uh, the 8th. That is for businesses throughout the Coachella Valley to decorate their windows, and it has a social media component, and the registration information is also at the website. Um, there's a fantastic book called Images of Desert Diversity. It's available at Destination PSP, and it's a 200-page photo book of Palm Springs Pride dating back for many years from a celebrated photographer, Ron Williams. And, of course, we talked about the virtual food court, and you can find all the participating restaurants at palmspringspride.gay. 
So uh, I wanted to just get all that information out there, Craig, because so many people will be uh, watching this because of your page that wouldn't necessarily know that information. So um, you've been training people in social media, but we have comments. So let's feature some of the comments. So um, Michael said at the top of the show that it's marvelous that we have an interpreter and closed captions. Yeah. Art Smith says, appropriately, my beverage is sitting on my Greater Palm Springs pride culture. Uh, uh, coaster, coaster, excuse me. And Augustine says, I want to join live share with you. Uh, you can watch all of those information, uh, uh, inf uh, all of those, uh, that information live. And Augustine is also asking how the deaf LGBT community can participate at Palm Springs Pride 2020. Mm -hmm. Well, all of my broadcasts are subtitled with closed captions in the rebroadcasts. And um, I do know at least that much is happening. So uh, let me just put that out there. So uh, with that said, uh, Craig, what else would you like to say specifically about the Pride Run before um, I show off the video in which you are training people? Because even though I'm going to feature that in another video before uh, the, the Pride uh, Run actually happens, there are people who are training now and we want them to have your insights. So what else would you like to say about the, the 5K Run and Walk? Well, it's not too late. I mean, we still have time. The, the beautiful part about the Palm Springs Front Runners, which is uh, part of an organization worldwide, like the LGBTQ themed uh, and focused uh, Front Runners group has representation in a lot of major cities. And Palm Springs one included the walkers in with that, the, in which I, as a fitness expert, I really do appreciate because there's so many people that either can't take it to a jog or um, or don't want to, and, and it's inclusive. And walking alone is such a highly beneficial activity and actually the most globally recognized uh, exercise program because it works, because it really does help you. And especially during these pandemic difficult times, this has been such a blessing that they took it to the virtual race, which means that anyone from anywhere can join. And also because it usually happens on the 7th, the Saturday, they're uh, allowing it to happen anytime between the sixth and the eighth, meaning you can break up the race. So it, it, it's now expansive and inclusive of so many people. Like my mom from Canada with fibromyalgia, she can't do a 5K in one sitting of a walk. She, so now she can break it up and do, uh, it's 3.1 miles. So one mile each every day of the Pride weekend. So it's really inclusive and you can do it now. I've been doing takeovers on PS Front Runner's Instagram account, which has been a lot of fun. And also just seeing who from around the world is registering now that it's virtual. And I'll tell you this much, and it's it really, it, it, it pulls at my, um, my emotions. The amount of support that we have and people that recognize that the LGBT community in America and globally really need love and support. So we have so, so many straight allies and people with stories that I'm sharing on the page of why they love Palm Springs and why they think it's necessary and feel it's necessary to support us with pride. And that is the point. For me personally, pride is such a great celebration to realize how far we've come, but also in 2020, how, how much we need the support and love of others. And that is what is happening with this pride run. And it's $20 to register. You're part of this organization and, and this, this uh, event. And it's going, as you said, it's going to a great cause with proceeds going to the center here, the LGBTQ center of the desert. Yes, totally. Um, so Augustine wants to know if the 5K walk will have interpreters. And uh, Augustine, I'm guessing no, because this is a, uh, an individual participation event. Nothing that is happening with Palm Springs Pride involves gatherings of people. Yeah. Everything is individual participation or um, something that you watch online. Regarding my broadcast, uh, 
I, I'm not sure if my rebroadcast of the Pride Parades will be live subtitled when they're happening, but I do know for a fact that the rebroadcast on Facebook and YouTube uh, will have closed captioning. Uh, Craig, we have a mutual friend who has signed on, Valerie from Ho the Hollywood Times. Oh, and wonderful. She, Hi, Valerie. Is, she is uh, thanking you for the friendship that you, and all the support you give Dr. Laura and also the Hollywood Times. So we right. love Valerie and want to give a shout out to you, Valerie. Miss, miss seeing you. Yep. And Dr. Laura as well. Uh, one thing about me as a fitness expert is uh, I love inclusivity, as, as you know, and entertainment. I think that that workouts need to be incredibly fun and it needs to be like undercover fitness and very healing because a lot of people come to fitness or workouts or the group, especially the group environment or when they're dealing with their own body with a lot of baggage and issues, especially our LGBT community. And that's where I think just having fun, entertaining people while they're working out, which this uh, 5K is on social medias by all means, uh, that that is healing for people. And Dr. Laura is part of that group that uh, Valerie's referencing that I, I personally had a, a great an opportunity to work with. Well, that's fantastic. So uh, Craig is going to stay with us uh, because we're going to talk about actual fitness tips uh, after he provides all of you who are participating in the walk with a training. And uh, he sent me a video, but I really fancied it up. Oh, good. For those of, for those of you who are watching, I want you to know that this uh, you will not see the interpreter when this video is playing. Technically, I cannot have them both on at the same time, but you will be able to watch the rebroadcast and then know everything that Craig does talk about in the interview, uh, in this video. But it is fun to look at, and I'll be back with the, my guest after this. Craig Ramsey here, and I'm going to take you through a quick Palm Springs Pride Run warm-up. But before I do that, I just want to thank all of you who have joined me with the training on social media leading up to this weekend and this race. Before I do the warm-up, I just want to express what Palm Springs and Pride means to me. I love this city. I love its city for not only its beauty, but also its diversity and equality. Pride to me means a, that it's a great time to celebrate and recognize how far we've come as a community, but it also is an incredible opportunity to check in with our allies worldwide. And that's what I'm grateful that this virtual race this year has done because we've had people join from all over the world and express and show their love for us. So thank you all for joining us. Okay, and thank you for joining me for this warm up. Okay, it's in real time. We're just gonna do a quickie here and we're gonna march on the spot. Lifting those knees up nice and tall, chest is up, shoulders down and back. Let's put our hands out in front and have that knee touch those hands at chest level. And then now we're going to assist it. So I'm going to reach onto my knee or shin and just lift it up. I'm really feeling this in the hip flexors. I'm warming up my glutes, my core, hamstrings. Nice. And now let's take it back into a lunge. So you can see I'm trying to straighten my back like there. And now I'm going to do a little twist with it. I reach around to my glute, feeling that nice stretch in the lower back, warming up those legs, getting my blood pumping. And then now let's do little side jumping jacks. Really flex those hands, warming up the upper body is just as important as the lower body. Bring those hands together and open up that chest. Swing one arm forward, swing one arm back. One arm forward, one arm back. And let's do some step kicks where we bring our heel in towards our glutes, okay? Feeling that, activate those quadriceps and now assist it, slow it down. Add in just a little squat there. 
Nice stretch. Good, run on the spot. Warm up those feet, really roll through the foot. And then let's add some kicks for fun. It's Pride Weekend, we need to add in some jazz hands. Feeling good? Finish with some trenches. Kick those legs back, get those arms going, add a double. All right, everyone, have a safe and fun run race. I'll see you at the finish line. So inspiring, Craig. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yes, you're very limber. You know, I uh, that's how I, I got my husband after a date number six, let me tell you. As soon as he found out trained contortionist, <laughs> that ring was on my finger. Oh, well, I'm happy that that worked out for you guys. Um, so uh, one of the things that I, I had told you before we went live tonight was that so during the last eight months or so I have lost uh, over 30 pounds and I have lost uh, 49.9 pounds as of two weeks ago but I haven't actually weighed myself since then I only weigh myself on the days that I meet with my nutritionist wow congratulations that is a really really big accomplishment that's wonderful Thank you. And one of the things I wanted to do, I just wanted to share a little some of my own challenges, but I want you to address them universally to empower uh, our viewers. So um, I I was bullied so much uh, around sports and uh, uh, PE when I was a kid and uh, for so many and, and taught to be ashamed of my sexuality. And so there are so many different uh, things that have confer con converged in terms of my ability to know and love and accept myself. And then we have all this societal pressure, especially in the gay community, mm -hmm. about how we're supposed to look to fit in. Yep. And because of a lot of work, decades of work and experience in 12-step programs and therapy and all sorts of things, I finally connected the dots where I was able to uh, create this outer transformation as an inside job. It really has been an inside job. And my, my key tools have been to uh, put every single thing that I eat into my fitness pal to be 100% aware to have realistic goals to meet with my nutritionist for her education and guidance to have um, the uh, the support of my medical team to make sure that they like what I'm doing and uh, to just really take advantage of this turbulent time we're in to create positive change for myself. Yeah. So that's my personal experience. And I'd love for you to just give me whatever feedback you want, but address the issues I brought up more universally. Yeah, let's also bring up the fact that you did this during a pandemic, which a lot of people that are watching this are going, how on earth did he make that transformation during one of the most stressful, probably the most stressful time globally that we, we've ever experienced here on earth? So. Um, that I think is great. And I'd love to ask you, what motivated you to be able to do this during a pandemic? Well, at the beginning of the pandemic, I knew, all right, well, the first thing I did when it was all starting was I went and I bought um, uh, a lot of comfort food. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, oh, this is going to happen for a long time. And I'm not in a position to eat like this. And I have one of two choices. Yeah. I can either decide to lose weight or and get in and become healthier or i can gain 50 pounds yeah. i really saw those as my options and i wasn't going to be able to um 
to uh, do one or the uh, to just focus on maintenance. The other key thing is um, right at the beginning of the pandemic, my nutritionist came off of maternity leave because mm -hmm. having a nutritionist was a very important part of my process. I also, by the way, have done it without exercise. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I have simply been eating healthy and I lose around one, sometimes a little more than one pound a week. Wow. Uh, and to, th to give you a little bit more information, I've been working on this for a long time and I've seen this particular nutritionist for a while. And two years ago, I was really, really sick and had to come back from that as well. Okay. So what you, when you talked about inside, what I, that really resonates with me because uh, this goes for every people, straight, gay, the, it, it really doesn't matter. But um, we need to do this selfishly. And a lot of times we're looking, like as we t you talked about, to the community, the pressures of the community, uh, and do we have to look a certain way to be accepted? And if we can get rid of all of that nonsense and we can focus on what we want out of life and what we want for our own health and wellness, then we're not playing as many games with ourselves. Then we can actually identify and narrow it down to what is my relationship with going to the fridge you know, 20 times a day? What am I doing? Uh, why do I gravitate towards these, this kind of eating, emotional eating? What is going on in my life? So then when you can internalize all of that, I think then you're on the path to success. And also, my biggest thing that I tell people is forgive yourself. There's already so much pressure outside and online, especially, that you have to be your best friend with all of this. No one's going to do it. I was taught early on, I did a lot of Broadway shows and I overlapped fitness for many years with that. And this uh, Broadway star, Dee Hody, told me, she sat me down when I was going through some contract issues. And she goes, Craig, no one is going to protect you like you, not your agent, not your, your friends, nothing. And when it comes down to it, you have to be everything to yourself. And that's what I tell people. And that's what it sounds like you did for you. And that's what I, my advice is for people during, especially this pandemic, is sort out you first. And putting yourself first and your health and wellness first is going to have you around for a lot longer for other people to help with them and give you more energy and confidence to be able to do that. Thank you so much for sharing your wisdom with our audience. Um, it's interesting. Usually if someone's losing a lot of weight over time, everyone's watching it happen and it's not they don't really notice. But people, when I go out, are seeing me for the first time in six months and their jaws are dropping. <laughs> Uh, how does that make you feel like I, I want to know that what, what brings that what brings up for you with, with that reaction? Um, it's exciting to, to have that feedback, but I also am so aware that I didn't do this for that. Yeah. Um, I did it for my own health and well-being and long term path on the planet. Um, but it's great. And I find people are inspired when I tell my story. So your story oh. is really impressive, and I love that it's weight loss focused. But the whole point of even that that five k run being virtual and all these newbies coming into the picture with that, it's my my advice to you is gain when you gain confidence with putting yourself forward and signing up and registering for this race or another race, or you're on the health path like you are, it gives a, a, an energetic aura, if you will. It's like peacocking. It, it, it immediately adjusts your posture and you enter into a room and or even on socials differently when you have the confidence to know that you're taking care of yourself. So I love that you did it with weight loss and you did it with food and all of that. Now I do want to see it in motion. I hope you're registered for the 5K and you're going to do it and break it up with me over that weekend. <sighs> Well, that's a challenge. I'm not going to respond yet, but I'm, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Um, uh, I, I've kept you longer than I said I was going to. Uh, so thank you for that. But we do have a, a question from our audience member. He's been uh, and Anth Steve Anthony, I'm going to put your comment on if you're still watching. But Augustine basically wants that. Uh, can you see his question? Yeah. Yeah. How do, how do people... Uh, develop their body and self and movement during walk or running uh, goal health muscle well let let I take that question as 
I think that you're asking how you put walking and jogging like into motion that's going to benefit you. Uh, there's so many benefits to that that aren't just physique benefits or changing your relationship to carbs and sugar, which any exercise actually does, but also the, the fact that you're getting outside, you're getting fresh air. And uh, in Palm Springs, I wear a mask and then I put it down anytime um, I'm solo and I don't see anyone. But even if someone's 30, 40 feet away, I put it up. Research shows that you're you're totally fine with wearing mask and you're able to if you if it's the right mask you're able to breathe through it, but it's the mind body and spirit connection that walking and jogging uh, provides you. A lot of people virtually can't get outside right now because of weather conditions and such or other restrictions, and they I even suggest inside pacing. And if your knees can take it and all of that, and you can do walking lunges, you know you can do one fifth of the time out that you would with a walk or a jog with uh, walking lunges indoors and get the same cardio burn and uh, and benefits. Fantastic. So Steve Anthony says, I'm going that weekend just to see and feel the vibe anyway. Happy Pride. In Palm Springs? Uh, yes, he's coming here uh, from wherever he lives to feel the vibe. And you know there are there are things to see and do for people that actually do come to Palm Springs, and I'm just going to review what's happening with Palm Springs Pride, um, and then give Craig some final words. But uh, Palm Springs Pride 2020 it has been reimagined as a safe, socially distanced Pride Week celebration. Um, all the events are listed with every Palm Springs Pride 2020 story at Promo Homo TV. Um, I've put this on screen throughout the show, but you can register from anywhere in the world and participate in the virtual 5K run and walk that benefits the LGBTQ Community Center of the Desert. And for those of you who are in town who want to procure party packs or uh, uh, visit the Pride Food Court, um, that will be fun whether you want to... Um, watch any of the virtual things online um uh, also just a reminder uh if for those of you that might have tuned in late on friday and saturday of pride weekend there is there are drive-in movies at the palm springs cultural center and camelot theaters so uh, there's all sorts of things and just a reminder wherever you are in the world three palm springs pride parades broadcast in their entirety on the Friday, Saturday night and Sunday brunch of Pride Weekend. So we have a lot going on, don't we, Craig? Oh, we certainly do. And and I love that that you're talking about all those details and you said drive in. Um, I'll add a couple things if I if I might with that. Please do. If anyone's in the near San Diego, Los Angeles, Palm Springs, in Riverside County, uh, I'm performing Rocky and Rocky or Picture Show at a drive in uh, safe it's, uh, of course, you're in your cars and then I'm on stage socially distancing, performing with uh, other performers with the movie behind us, Rocky Horror Picture Show, on October 30th at 8 p.m. in Escondido. So if you go to artcenter.org, you can come and you can see me in these incredibly high, dangerous heels trying to navigate floor show with that. So check that out. <laughs> and then... Also, there, Nicholas, there's so many other things that are going on, too, that are associated with Palm Springs Pride. And a quick hashtag of Palm Springs Pride will bring up lots, including uh, Mr. Turk is doing uh, a kickoff party with 20% of five different outfits that Brandon and I specifically chose that resonate with us that we think will resonate with uh, others uh, for purchase. 20% goes to the center. And that's happening on virtually, of course, I, uh, again, safely online October 29th, uh, Thursday, is uh, they're doing an early kickoff party. So I really encourage people to go to Mr. Turk on social media and check that out, too. Oh, thank you for that. I was unaware. Is there anything else you want to add? Um, I want to add a huge thank you to you. Uh, and and, and uh, Nicholas, I, I'm so happy to have this opportunity. I really look up to you and I admire you. I think that you're so brave and you're a pioneer with using your voice for equality and for all that you do with the Desert AIDS uh, project. I really think that you, you're an incredible voice for putting out there what that looks like and what that journey is. And I thank you. Well, thank you. You know, uh, we're all in this together. We certainly are.
And this 2020 difficulty in this uh, virtual Palm Springs Pride really proves that. So thank you all for participating and being involved. Well, thank you, uh, Craig, and uh, and thank you to Tom, our wonderful interpreter. Yeah. And uh, if you want to hang out, Craig, I'll speak with you briefly after the show. But for everyone else, I have nothing more to add. This has been a fantastic, wonderful experience with Craig. And for all of you that are seeing this broadcast on his Facebook uh, page for the first time, mm -hmm. come on by promohomo.tv and see me. And we'll see you perhaps virtually somewhere soon you're with me it's all right together on our lives a new start